Hi Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. All right, I am open for private readings. The link to my website is below. All right, we're gonna see what messages come through. Oh, you have the entanglement card as well. It says energetic cores, ties, and bonds. Someone will come back. So here, expect to hear from someone soon. Phoenix rising, oh, the sun set sail on a new adventure and being aware it definitely might be a fire sign for some of you aries leo sagittarius okay all right someone can't let you go that's what this tells me right here might be a water sign as well but let's see what is going on for taurus sun moon rising and venus the truth is coming out confession or clarity the grass is greener better option jealousy and happy no one compares and a soulmate somebody's thinking that you're the better option i kind of i don't know if they left you for someone else i don't feel like that happened i just whoever they're with they're not happy they feel like you are the one they want to be with no one compares to you you're you are the soulmate that they're looking for okay what is going on for taurus sun moon rising and venus taurus overall energy is a nine of swords it's on someone's mind is the four of wands how this person is feeling is justice how they view you or the situation with you the seven of swords that's interesting and the knight of swords in the outcome all right let's go back through this might be a leaper for some of you they have a lot of swords here a lot of error energy so if someone's thinking about this a lot they could be a fire sign reaching out they want justice it's weird because this can be, oh, there was Pisces, but um, they see you as a seven of swords. That's how you're coming across. Now you may be, you may be hiding information from them. Maybe you don't want to tell them everything. You're waiting for them is what I'm getting. It's almost like you're like thinking, I know this person's going to realize sooner or later that I'm the one they want is what I'm getting here. This person is, they are thinking, I want to be happy. I deserve justice. I deserve my wishes fulfilled. And I do see them coming back towards you like the cards say. So... This may have something to do, maybe you told them. You said, you know, you're not going to be happy with that person. You're not gonna, something's not going to make you happy. Jealousy, better option, unhappy, and they deserve better. I also feel like they don't want to tell you straight up that they made a mistake. They could see you as being stubborn, but, okay. Messages, communication, devil. Someone can't resist you. They cannot let go. For one thing, you knew, you know this, Five of Swords. This is the I'm right, you're wrong card. This is them not wanting to hear you say that. And you may, I don't know, it feels like you might, but you know what? I told you I was right. Um, they could be a fire sign or could be a Capricorn. But I think this is a connection they have with you, the Devil and the Nine of Coins. It's like they can't let go. They can't resist. They always keep coming back to you. I think I have to blow this candle out. I'm getting a headache. I'm not sure if someone's getting headaches or migraines or something like that, but I'm just feeling it on the right side of my head. I don't know if that's causing it or not, but... What is this Five of Swords? Fool. Okay, because I'm thinking... Oh. You never really moved on. You said you were, but you never really moved on, Taurus. But I do see movement here. If you have felt stuck, I do see Six of Swords is movement. Not an error in your energy. Everything but the Fool here, well, Temperance, is error. They were wanting you to come back towards them first, though. So I'm kind of getting here, and that didn't happen. I get Taurus, you dug in, and you're like, mm -mm, I'm not going to. But there's some sort of change happening. Okay, what would this person say to you? I want to go to this deck. I like this deck right now. This deck is... What would this person say to Taurus? Memories of you are haunting me. That's where this entanglement is. Why do I think that some of you have done some sort of like candle work or spells or astral travel with this person or are you purposely calling them back in are you keeping them attached i mean i don't get in a bad way i just get kind of like this person cannot let go they'll be back aware phoenix right yes something's coming back that you want 
Memories of you are haunting me. What's weird is that it's not really showing up in their energy. It's more in your energy on this side of the reading. This is the outcome, but it's, it's like they really want to come back towards you fast. Okay, what else do they want to say? I don't want to lose you. I need more time to reflect on myself. I'm, I do care for you. This is in the wrong deck. I do care for you deeply, but I'm scared you want too much. Okay, that might be important to know. This might be what partly is holding things back for some of you. They care for you, but they don't know if they can give you what you want. Okay, and we have, I can't stop thinking about you. Wow. I get your person plays things cool. It really doesn't want to reveal their true feelings, but I get you can play it just as cool. I feel like Taurus with your earth energy, you just kind of like lay low and you're just, you've been waiting and you knew this was going to happen. It's kind of what I'm getting here. This person sees you again, like you are the right choice for them. The nine of cups and the hangman. This could be an earth sign like you, or this is you. They're looking at you. Not wanting to see. Harmony. Yeah. Yeah, some of you, you've just been like kicking back. You're like, I'm not going to take any action. They're gonna, you're going to make them come towards you and that they are. This is driving them insane is kind of what I'm getting. That was like one of the best things you could have done. But I'm also seeing this some sort of like, I'm going to chain. Like something where you guys are chained somewhere energetically. And you guys are having a hard time letting go. And Okay, we have the passion card. Fun times. Wanting to date. And someone's been a wallflower, but I again, I kind of feel like that may be holding back because it says limited, limited potential, shy or withholding, withholding feelings. And of course, it could be a guy. There's a girl there, but it could be a guy. We have Virgo here. What is this outcome for you? You, yeah. For some of you, this is. You guys are both earth signs. Um. I mean, this could be you, this could be you, whatever the masculine feminine energy is, one more star card. Yeah, this is meant to be six of wands. I definitely see you with this person and being happy. I feel like you've kind of known all along this person was going to come back. For some of you, this has taken a long time. This is part of the, um, I did a collective and it showed reconciliation. It showed coming back together for a lot of people right now. And again, you can decide what you want to do. The ball's in your court. What is this person feeling right now, Taurus? What is this person feeling? Confused. I don't know how I feel about you anymore. I don't think that's true. I think the whole, I think the situation's confusing. I'm actually getting you maybe confused at this point. Maybe you don't know what you want. It's been a while. Unconditional love. I accept you the way you are. And clarity. I want clarity. I want, so that's true. Confused to clarity. Makes sense. What is spirit's advice? Let go of control issues. It did say having fun and dating and just having a good time. Like stop trying to control everything. Because I think they see you as controlling. Doesn't mean you are. I mean, you could just be kicking back and not really caring about the situation at the moment. But um, let things unfold. This is your soulmate. Express your love. And one more. We have separation. All right. I think you guys are already separated. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. Phoenix rising. So you got that in two decks, you guys. So something is definitely coming back to life. It says new phase, rekindle, renew growth, change mind, and rising from the ashes, as well as a poker face. Again, that's I'm. They're seeing you as a poker face. Like you don't, you're not showing your hand. You're not showing your feelings. Taking a risk. It says options and gambling, and mirroring each other. Because this is mirroring each other, but self-reflection, inner wounds. I get this is the thing that's happening. The two of you have kind of been in a stalemate for a long time. Um, you guys, are, But you guys are both feeling the same way, and you're both mirroring each other, but you're both not taking action up until now. Something is changing suddenly. I feel like it's a collective thing. I feel like it's um, meant to happen for a lot of different people. All right. Let me see one other deck. I'm going to take one card from here. You are the missing puzzle piece in my life. And then I want to take one card from here and see what is spirit's advice. Hang on. Wow, a bunch of things just fell out. 
what is spirit's advice? The six of wands. All right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a really great week.